Liberal Viewer presents. So there's been a lot of anti-immigrant spin in Fox News stories over the years, but maybe none as bad as the Fox News coverage of the DREAM Act still before the U.S. Congress that allows immigrants brought here illegally as kids, many of whom have no memory of living anywhere else, to get a legal green card if they have good moral character and spend two years attending college or serving in the military. But Fox News' supposedly hard news program special report has been asking viewers if the DREAM Act is a nightmare, at least since a story last September, which was a label supposedly straight news anchor Brett Baer again could not resist applying when reporting on the DREAM Act last week in this clip. One of the items that may be up for consideration in the lame duck session of Congress is called the DREAM Act, but it is a nightmare for some opposed to citizenship for illegal aliens. And not only did the supposedly straight news anchor introduce the subject with that anti-immigrant spin, but several facts Fox News reported about the DREAM Act were just wrong, including three factual errors in the nine-second clip you can see here. The DREAM Act is designed to give the children of illegal immigrants an eventual path to citizenship that requires earning a college degree or serving two years in the military. Hmm, now you can read the text of the DREAM Act yourself at tinyurl.com slash DREAM Act text and you'll see there in contrast to Fox News's reporting that there's no requirement or even mention that participants be the children of illegal immigrants. There's no requirement that participants graduate college and successful participants get a green card, not citizenship. And what may be worse than those factual errors were the important factual omissions with the supposed hard news program never telling its viewers that participants had to come to the U.S. before the age of 16, live in the U.S. for at least five years, graduate high school or get a GED, and have good moral character to participate under the DREAM Act. Yet, Fox News did have time to go into enough detail about the bill to report that previous versions required states to treat immigrant students equally for purposes of in-state tuition even though the current version of the bill leaves it up to the states to decide, as you can see in this clip. The most controversial aspect of older versions of the 10-year-old legislation is providing illegal students with in-state tuition at taxpayer-funded state schools. The current bill would allow states to decide. Of course, several states have already decided to allow immigrant state residents the same in-state tuition as other state residents, including my state, where the California Supreme Court handed down a unanimous 7-0 to decision in favor of immigrant equality in state college tuition the day before this special report story was broadcast, but believe it or not, the supposed hard news program never reported on the California Supreme Court victory for immigrant equality itself, but instead only included a soundbite from the attorney for the losing side, as you can see in the continuation of that special report story here. California, New York, and Texas are among 10 states offering an in-state break to illegal immigrants. Now some out-of-state students attending the University of California say they'll take the case to the Supreme Court. The American public understands that sometimes unlawful aliens and American citizens are treated and should be treated equally, but they do not understand why an unlawful alien should be treated four times better than an American citizen. Of course, attorney Michael Brady there had just lost that argument in a ruling issued by all seven justices of the California Supreme Court, including six appointed by Republican governors, because the California law treats immigrant Californians equally in terms of tuition as it treats citizen Californians. Yet, the Fox News program's special report reported on the appeal of the decision without ever telling its viewers about the decision of the California Supreme Court itself, which is why I'm emailing this video to special at foxnews.com, along with a note not only asking the show to correct the factual errors about the DREAM Act, but also pointing out that if a hard news program is going to report on the losing attorney's plan to appeal this ruling, the show also needs to report on the unanimous 7-0 to decision, including six justices appointed by Republicans, all in favor of immigrant equality. But I want to know what you think. Will you email this video to special at foxnews.com and ask the show to correct the factual errors about the DREAM Act and to report the unanimous ruling of the California Supreme Court instead of just the losing attorney's plan to appeal? And if, as always, Fox News fails to respond to my viewers' emails, can Special Report really call itself a hard news program after failing to correct factual errors and after reporting on the losing attorney's plan to appeal a California Supreme Court ruling without ever reporting on the unanimous decision in favor of immigrant equality itself? I, YouTube, you decide.